this is actually a new um, R7 tool. So here you can see there's a the the V flash 16 gig. Uh, can't see it clearly. Um, when I specified this particular server, it had a lot of um, energy efficient features. And one of the first is the um, Platinum Plus. If you can see here, it's a Platinum Plus. And it's, it's a 1100 watt. You could have, cho I could have chosen the the 700 watt power supply but that isn't Platinum Plus and one good thing about being Platinum Plus is that um, if you look at the manual there is a research by Dell saying that this particular one is efficient um, when the load is about 20 or 30 percent uh, it was still about 94 percent efficient whereas the other 700 watt, 700 watt isn't as efficient when the load is not it's not, um, I'll say, when it's the power usage is only about 20 or 30 percent, which is important because sometimes the server is actually not doing anything. And one thing new about the new R720 is that the power supply, if you have dual power supply, it can actually uh, switch on one uh, when the load is not high. And only when it reaches about 30 or 40 percent, then both of the power supply is on. Um, so that's the power efficiency from power supply point of view. Um, another key efficiency is for this particular system is that you notice that the green blank. This is the the third slot. So all the third slot is not pop populated. So there are about uh, two, four, six. Yeah, eight slots not populated. So one reason they are not populated is because this dim is actually low voltage dim, uh, operating at one point three five volt, and and this is the maximum that the R seven two zero can support. That is, uh, it can only support uh, twelve dims, two, four, six, eight, ten. 16 dim sorry and what I did is um, I'm just gonna well, what I did is I'm gonna show you this is actually a a Samsung green um, it says that it's a it's from Samsung you can't really see it and this 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 particular um, Memory is actually 16 gig, so it comes up to 16 times 16, so it's 256 only, and it's maximum. It's the maximum configuration for this particular system. If you're using low voltage RAM, you can't populate it anymore, and the low voltage RAM cannot be mixed with the normal voltage RAM. One thing nice is that. One thing nice is that um, the CPU actually talks to the first channel, which is the black color ones. And when it does that, the second channel is not accessed. And when it's not accessed, it ha uh, if you're on low voltage, uh, it can actually be on standby. So it reduces about maybe 80% of the energy usage needed on the standby channel, which is nice. This is already low voltage and they still manage to save energy on the second channel. You, to get information on that, you have to read the manual. Another thing about this particular system is because it uses the latest um, Sandy Bridge Zion uh, to fully populate the, the, uh, card, the PCI slot. So this is the CPU too. So what happened is you can only populate with the um, low profile 
uh, NIC cards if if you have installed the CPU too. If the CPU too is not installed, then you cannot use the PCI slot on this particular site, including this particular uh, PCIe X16. The reason is because the Sandy Bridge actually built the PCI hub directly into the CPU. That is a direct access. So if you did not install the second CPU, then you will not be able to use uh, one, two, three, four, four slots of PCI. You not you not be able to use. That means you'll only be able to use um, three slots only. So this is the 10G cards, and this is the SAS HBA connecting to an MD3200. Uh, One thing that I've chosen different is that this particular select network adapter is actually Intel's instead of using the Broadcom one. The reason is because um, if, you, if I've chosen the Broadcom one, um, Broadcom and Intel doesn't use the same um, TCP offloading engine. So th there may be a conflict. And most of my cards here, the 10G and the low profile are Intel. So it's best if you specify the server that you use a particular manufacturers all the way, including the select, uh, select network adapter. One thing different about the uh, R20 is the the Drake. Uh, you have to choose the Enterprise iDrake 7 because if you do that, then um, you will get the benefits of um, power management, uh, the ability to actually using a software called Dell Power Center. You can actually be able to. Um, do a policy management and, and actually tune down the the usage of this server through the power center. Um, that is, let's say your data center has lost the electrical uh, main power supply, so you're running on battery that is UPS. So you can actually through power center, if you configure your I, with the ability of iDrake, you can actually through power center um, send the policy and say that uh, don't use so much energy then you actually tune down your CPU and RAM power without affecting your application um, other than that um, one more last thing I want to say is the 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 internal red card um, sometimes it's good to buy the more expensive 1G, uh, uh, what I said, um, uh, the red card has the ability to put uh, on board, um, how to say, uh, the on board uh, dedicated memory. So in this case, I've chosen the 1G um, memory. It's the, I think it's the 710P. If you do that, then um, in future, if you wanted to put the uh, cache gate feature, you can actually put SSD here and it can offload it to, to um, that means you can mix hard disk and SSD and uh, the cache gate feature will actually, how to say, do an auto tiering for you within the box. And this is important. And another key feature for the new R720 is that you can actually put in a PCIe flash card and and that actually is new if you do that then it can also if you have a back-end compiling SAS SAN you can actually do an auto tiering the first tiering at the PCIe SSD and then the back-end auto tiering to the compiling SAN that is something new that I have not seen myself only that I read so uh, let me recap if you want to specify a server for the R720 uh, one last thing is that this CPU is actually not the fastest CPU for the Sandy Bridge it's actually one step below the um, the most powerful one if I'm not wrong the 
the voltage is uh, 130 watt because according to the manual the 720 manual if you specify the highest performing CPU the 135 watt CPU um, you will not be able to operate this server in the extended mode the extended uh, temperature so I purposely chosen it to have a CPU that operate at 130 watt the, the heat dissipation so that it can operate in the extended temperature that means this server can actually operate 10% of its time in one year uh, at around 45 degrees Celsius so that's important because uh, it, because in the event of a data center electrical um, uh, how to say outage um, the, the UPS normally does not last more than 10 minutes and uh, the people who service the generators because the mains are down normally take half an hour to figure out what's wrong and manually switch over and when that happens actually your servers are still running and it's quite hot so the ability to specify your server to be able to run at uh, above uh, the standard operating temperature of uh, 25 degrees up to 45 degrees is an added benefit and uh, it actually uh, increases the robustness of the server and this is important because um, uh, no other um, I would say a uh, manufacturer like IBM and HP does this uh, only only Dell uh, gives you warranty to operate at an extended temperature and uh, this is one of the benefits of this server so I've specified the processor uh, according to the manual to qualify for the warranty I specified the RAM there's a low voltage 16 gig RAM 16 gig RAM should always be specified as opposed to maybe uh, 8 gig module or 4 gig module or 2 gig module because um, those lower lower size module low capacity modules uh, if you have two 8 gig module as opposed to one 16 gig module the 16 gig module would uh, save more energy okay you can't use a 32 gig module because um, not only is it very expensive for the R720 if you use the 32 gig module then you'll be using a uh, uh, a new type of memory called uh, uh, a different type of memory I said load you have to refer to the manual okay so I can't remember what's that memory called um, it's a special memory okay but it's really expensive so so but one thing to note is that um, if you use the low voltage 16 gig memory you can you cannot use the other slot here that means there are eight slots of memory that you can't use the, the reason being um, because the low voltage memory module cannot cannot mix and match with the normal 1.5 volt okay other than that um, because this server is meant for visualization like ESX or Hyper-V uh, I have um, so so memory is important because you, you want to fill up with as much memory as you can but you want it to do to save energy at the same time and for this server it is able to do that because the second bank the second channel is actually um, can be on standby so saving about 70 percent of the energy it normally requires to keep it keep it going and another thing is the power supply that is platinum plus well, I hope you enjoy this because um, I, I took much time to figure out uh, how best to specify a server that is suited for virtualization and, and how best to save it. Uh, I mean, the operating cost of, of running this server, how to keep it low by specifying the memory, the CPU, and things like that. And even the red card, if you specify the one gig uh, dedicated um, how to say uh, even this red card I, I meant does not uh, it comes with a uh, 
it doesn't come with a on how do you say the battery is uh when when there's an outage it actually will offload to uh how do you say uh flash so that it actually runs it doesn't the battery doesn't need to be replaced but for some reason I see that there's a battery here um, I may need to check that um, oh, okay I hope you enjoy that uh, the ability to run this red cup without the battery that is, is using a super cap capacitor to actually when the, the power is cut the, that's a super capacitor that actually uh, what holds the charge for about 30 seconds allowing the the uh, the data in the memory to actually offload to the flash therefore uh, doesn't require the battery anymore and this is important because if the server runs for five years then you don't have to worry about replacing the battery at all because um, because it actually uh, does not require it at all Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you very much.